Hello my dear friends I'm Shumaila from Resin Art by Shumaila Today I'm pouring coasters for you I have got many messages and requests on my inbox regarding the making of coasters So how the coasters we can made I take 1 is to 1 ratio of hardener in one cup and 1 is to 1 ratio of resin in one cup you can find any company for this but here I am using 1 is to 1 ratio. So I mix them very thoroughly. I mixed resin and hardener very thoroughly together approximately about 3 minutes. And then in separate cups I take two different colors. Here I am using copper and mint. I take in two different cups. I mix the color in copper in one cup and mint in another cup with resin hardener mixed together now I'm pouring in small quantity on my coasters so here I'm taking small quantity of mint in another coaster because to give effects I'm using different contrast in two different molds so as you can see and in two different molds I use copper mint and now in two different molds I'm using mint and copper in a small quantity now here I'm using a clear resin in the middle I wanted to give them some effects so I'm using this technique there are so many techniques but here I'm using some vein technique to get them effects rain effects now I'm using my heat gun to pop up the bubbles and soften the resins heat gun is basically never overuse your heat gun because it will burn your resin surface and it is not good for your health as well because you are inhaling your those fumes and it is not good make sure you are wearing a very good quality of respiratory mask so you cannot inhale any fumes so basically heat gun is used to pop up the bubbles and soften the resin to give some effects here you can see the effects start coming right after I use the heat gun do not overuse heat gun it will burn your resin now I'm pouring little bit of glitter on the in the middle to give some effects as you can see the effects already start coming in the middle here I use a small stick to mix the resin with the glitter so it will settle down and also sit on the surface see the effects start coming here I use just to fly over the fire torch not the fire torch is basically just to pop the bubbles after 18 hours of cure I'm using the top coat here you can see I'm using a top coat another coat of resin I'm going to use the heat gun again to pop up the bubbles of those resin and soften the resin with the heat gun
see I'm the heat gun is popping the bubbles heat gun is a very good instrument you will find on Amazon or any hard home hardware store you can find it anywhere in Amazon it's a good price but if you want to buy a high quality a very high quality you can go to the home home improvement stores and you can buy there a very good quality heat guns after using heat gun I will just fly over the my fire torch to use to pop up the remaining of the bubbles it's up to you to use the fire torch I use just to pop up the remaining bubbles now I use this the toothpick or any stick to make sure there are no bubbles on the edges after complete 24 hours like about complete 24 hours of the top coat I'm taking out my coasters from the mold I give the top coat after 18 hours and then I wait for more 24 hours for the complete cure and now I'm taking out my coasters from the mold you can use the sandpaper at the back of the coasters sand down and flat coat or top coat you can whatever you want to say it and display it whatever surface you like here I like the front surface that I need just sand it down and give the flat coat with the sandpaper this is the trimmer that I found on Amazon it is a very impressive trimmer it comes with different blades as well in about $15 Canadian I buy it so I'm trimming the edges of coasters I already give the flat coat but as you can see that the edges are still sharp and trimmer is working so well with the sharp edges so you can trim down the edges of coasters with the help of this trimmer you can also use sandpaper to trim the edges of the coasters but I find this tool on Amazon and it's very good so you can use this as well After the trimming you can color the borders of these coasters with any color you like I use gold color you can use any color according to the contrast of your coasters metallic copper silver bronze whatever color you like I use gold color at the border of these coasters you can use it you can see it at the end of the video I'm almost done with my trimming thank you so much friends to watching my video this is my first voiceover video I hope you will forgive me if I make any mistake in there thank you so much for watching it please subscribe my channel if you like it and follow me on my Instagram which is in the bio the link in the bio or in the detail thank you so much have a great day bye bye